Always fresh and a little bit sticky. Keep it locked down, cannabis wiki. We're always fresh and a little bit sticky. The green room on cannabis wiki. Hey everybody, welcome to the green room. Hey Derek. Hey Jackie. <laughs> you know what we haven't said in a while? That cannabis talk is always fresh. And a little bit sticky. Yes! Keep it locked on Cannabis Wiki. I love that. I've, people have been sending me that in my DMs the last few days, so I remembered we need to start saying that again. It was good. Yeah. And that's a catchy little thing. So today we have a gentleman on that we met just briefly at Hall of Flowers. And yeah. we have been lucky enough now to try yes. your some of your edibles, which we had really... We're sticky here, let me tell you there, Kinlock. We're <laughs> um, we really, really liked them. We both have a different we both have a different story about what we liked about them and why. But um, welcome to the show, Dwayne Stewart from Kinlock. Thank you so much. Really excited to be here. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Why don't you tell us a bit about your your company, your edibles? Because sure. it's more so, than just edibles. Uh, edibles is just the start, but uh, happy to give some background. So I, I'm Dwayne Stewart. I'm, I'm the founder and, and CEO of Kinlock Wellness. Uh, which is a brand that we've developed to uh, try to answer the need <clears throat> for wellness-focused non-THC products uh, for the Canadian daily wellness consumer. Uh, we think that the THC market is awesome, uh, but that it hasn't focused on that consumer that's not looking for a THC experience and hasn't done it in a way that's purposeful. Uh, we think the CBD has never been sold on purpose in Canada. We think it's been sold by accident. And what we wanted to come to market with was a purposeful set of products that answers that need for daily wellness that doesn't involve THC. Purposeful. Mm. Yeah. So, so you've got the G's and the N's and the, we, we, we were lucky enough to try some of the... I think we both tried the green apple one because it was, uh, I know the one I tried was a 50 milligram and oh. I found it to be really good. Like Serene. A, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, so the Serene product line, all of our product lines are designed to give enough potency. One of the mm -hmm. challenges with the CBD products that I have tried is they generally don't have enough potency in them. Um, you know, our, our tincture is potent enough that we're able to get across the line uh, at, at more milligrams per milliliter than most other products in the marketplace. Our gummies, you know, the gummy you're talking about, the Serene, is 50 milligrams of CBD per gummy, yes. but it's not bitter and it right. tastes great. It, um, tastes it has great. terpenes in it. Everything we do is terpene activated because we still think that the entourage effect works because of terpenes and it can work with any combination of cannabinoids that may or may not include THC as a significant component. So we're excited about the ability to add terpenes in a flavorful way to edibles, uh, to pre-rolls, um, and, and to capsules as well. You're not going to taste those quite the same way, of course. Um, but we're super excited about the gummies. Now, the first thing coming to market, they're a real gummy. Yeah. I mean, they're not a soft chew. They're not pectin-based. They're gelatin-based. Um, you have to chew them. You know, there's, there's a, you get that flavor bite a few times. If you smell the next time you get one, give it a smell ahead of time. It's got a very pleasant, you know, on the nose, mm -hmm. and then it tastes great uh, in your mouth. And the first thing, I got a lot of comments, people are like, man, it feels like it's hitting me right away. Yeah. I'm like, well, that's the terpenes. The terpenes go into your bloodstream immediately, and because we've designed each gummy to have the terpene that focuses on our effect, this quadrant of our effect wheel, which we haven't talked about yet, but our effect wheel is the way that we explain uh, how we've designed the products, whether it's for your morning, for your after your workout, uh, for that afternoon slump, or just before you head to bed. Um, each product has a time of the day and a, and a concept behind it, and the terpenes are designed to support that. Mm -hmm. So I don't recommend taking our Elevate gummy at 11.30 at night unless you're going out to party. <laughs> um, you know, you know that, that's our CBZ line uh, as, you, as, you, as you're headed off the end of your day. So the, each of the terpenes act to support the concept for uh, the part of the effect wheel. And those terpenes hit you right away. Uh, and then of course, you're still gonna get the regular processing of an edible. Uh, we're excited to bring faster acting products next year. But this year, they're, you know, they act in that sort of 20 to 40 minute window uh, once you've taken them. Yeah, <laughs> will you tell us about, so we both mentioned Serene, but will you tell us about the line, the product line? Cause I believe there's yeah. four. Yeah, hundred percent. So we started the day off with Serene. These these are products that are that are THC free, just CBD and terpenes, and uh, we've got different formats. Whether it is the the gummy, uh, a, um, an infused pre roll with uh, blackberry Kush uh, as the terpene flavoring, mm. um, or our uh, honey apple uh, tincture 
uh, which is a flavored tincture. Mm. Uh, try again. We're trying to deal with the bitterness of, of isolate products. The way we get THC free is, is isolate. You know, so when you use an isolate product, if you've ever eaten um, a high CBD or high THC for that matter uh, gummy with isolate as its source, after you're finished chewing it, you're going to have this bitter taste all over your tongue, mm -hmm. and it's and it's it's a little puckering. Uh, it goes away. Uh, it's not bad. It's just a function of the way isolate works unless you deal with it in a way that, that takes that bitterness away. And so we've done that in all of our products. Um, and then the last thing in the line is our capsules, uh, which again, just for someone that doesn't want to have an edible or, or do any inhalation, capsules are a great choice. A uh, high potency CBD there as well. And then the next, the next one in the line is our, our, our refresh line. The refresh line um, is CBG focused. Uh, and that, that product line there is designed for that after workout, that, uh, um, you know, one of the one of the swag items we're going to be giving away with this line is a band aid. Hmm. Now, I, you can decide to make any connection you like, uh, but uh, and certainly we don't make any medical health claims. Um, but we do want to warn people of the side effects, and and CBG uh, has the side effect um, uh, of dealing with some of that that post workout stress that you might experience. Mm -hmm. um, and the CBG and CBD in combination are are great for that. Along the, in the terpenes that we've added to it, you know, support that. Uh, the other one is Elevate. Elevate is my one of my favorite categories because this is my afternoon slump. Um, you, know, you get to 3, 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, you're just like, ah, I need a nap. Elevate kind of solves that for me personally. Uh, the terpene combination, it's a little lighter dose uh, of CBD. And then the tinctures and the pre-rolls uh, and the capsules, it's all um, uh, broad spectrum. So there's a little bit of CBC, uh, you know, some THCVA, some, some of the other minor cannabinoids that are found in high-potency hemp which is where everything we're, we're working with comes from. Uh, all mm. of our products are sourced from uh, Canadian hemp grown on Canadian farms um, uh, in BC, Ontario, and, and a little bit in Alberta. And the final grouping is uh, CBZ. That's your, your nighttime line. Um, and CBZ uses CBN activated with, with CBD on a two-to-one ratio. Um, I've seen some products in market that use CBN at one milligram. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, like one milligram, <laughs> it, you know, you're not going to you're not going to feel anything. So it's got CBN in it. Well, it's a very expensive cannabinoid at this point in the market. So I, I understand why I didn't put a lot in there, but they wanted to carry the name. Um, you know, we've put 10 milligrams per product. Yeah. Um, you know, so our, our our gummies, you know, have 120 to 200 milligrams in a package. You know, right now you're getting 10 milligrams of THC maximum per package. Right. Well, I'm offering 20 times that amount um, at less than you're going to pay per gummy um, in our in our, our gummy line. That's really good because it, you know, because you can uh, have those higher doses um, that combats the uh, illicit market too, where it's very hard for the uh, THC guys. If someone's used to taking a 50 or 100 gram gummy, it's very hard for them to compete right now uh, because of the regulation holding it back. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of validity to the 10 milligrams of THC. I, I can see that. I, I wouldn't, I'm not the guy to fight that because um, obviously we're not on the, on the THC side. Mm -hmm. uh, but on, on the to your point about the illicit market, the other advantage, of course, with the, the regulated marketplace is that I can be 100 percent confident. There are no pesticides. Right. There are no heavy metals. Um, you know, if I said it's 10 milligrams, it's either 9.8 or 10.2. Like It's going to be within a very tight range. Mm -hmm. um, nothing is going to be delivered to you that's outside of spec um, and help. And the, the SOPs that are involved in creating these products uh, really you know, as reviewed and, and monitored by Health Canada. Um, they're they're accurate, and so you can be assured that the money you're spending, you're getting what the package says. And yeah. we know in the in the illicit market that may or may not always be true. You might be getting twenty when you think you're getting ten. You might be getting two. When you right. Think you're getting 10, yeah. Right? And who knows where it came from? Um, what I find what's really interesting. So what you're saying is the terpenes, because like the CBD, you're saying the one is even energizing and. Yeah. Um, that's because of the the terpenes. 100. I mean, indica and sativa are two of the hybrid. Those are the three words that, that all the the the, uh, the retailers in Canada seem to think are the way to describe uh, you know cannabis. Mm -hmm. And you know, they're, they're the if you go way back in the history of, of where those words come from and the plants that, that generated those words, um, those lineages are so messed up right now that nothing really you know is truly an indica or truly a sativa. Right. But what those words are trying to describe is the combination of cannabinoids and, importantly, terpenes that create that couch lock 
for that away. Right. To be very simple, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, Indica, Indica Couch, you know, Sativa, you know, that's my party one, right? Right. right. So that's really coming from terpenes. Mm -hmm. If you take THC and you strip all the terpenes off, you no longer have Indica or Sativa. I don't care where it came from. Yeah. You know, if you're now dealing with THC distillate or THC isolate, um, you know, the plant, I will not argue with you that the plant itself is going to have those properties, but it has those properties because it's got complex other minor cannabinoids and terpenes in the flower format. Right. When you come away from the flower format, those words mean nothing unless you add terpenes back into it. And mm -hmm. we felt that it's it's my my day as a wellness user does not involve um, two options. You know, couch lock and, and awake are not my only things I want in my day. Um, you know, I, I might want to go to sleep. I want, I want to have my afternoon slump. I want to be my post-workout, you know, recovery. Right. Um, or I just want to deal with the stress of my day. Mm -hmm. Those are the four main, but when we look at all the mood states that a consumer is likely to consider in their day, we, we dumped it down to these, these were dumb, sorry, but we simplified it down to the four uh, buckets that we've arrived at. And if you look in the States, you know, there are other companies that describe this in different ways. Um, mm -hmm. and, and multiple six times, eight times buckets, whatever we've, we've not copied any of that. We've asked the question from our experience with full scientific and with strain print, if we combine. Mm. So you're working with flow scientific. Yes. Full time is one of our sister companies. So oh, that's great. Yeah. We actually were at flow scientific in Vancouver in January of 2020. Sure, Remember yeah. Jackie? Jeez. We had so much fun there. We got to learn yeah. all about the terpenes because actually that was my next question, where you were getting your terpenes from. So, oh, that's great. Yeah. No, we, we bought Full Scientific uh, uh, last year uh, off of uh, Dave, and, Dave and Katie. Yeah. Uh, and, and Katie's moved on. Dave's still there. Uh, Stephanie is the, uh, is the salesperson there now. Nice. And so our team has been heavily involved in, in terpenes across the country for the last year and a bit. Right. And we know really everyone. that education from Flow um, is how we've started – applying that to products, but then say, well, how can we prove that if I take uh, Mercy and Humulene uh, and Beta-Carophyllene and I put it in with CBN and CBD, how am I going to know that I'm going to get the effect that I want? Right. Well, that's when we look at the experts at Strain Print who can have, you know, 100 million data points across 20 years, of thousands of, of cannabis users that have been on their app, right. uh, er earning you know, rewards and, and, and but reporting their experience. Right. Strength can analyze the terpene combinations with the CBD with the with the cannabinoid combinations and arrive at, at a reasonable assessment of yeah it's it, most people report when you take these cannabinoids and these terpenes you put them together mm -hmm. most people report, report they feel relaxed or they feel happy or they feel refreshed or whatever the, the answer might be. That's really so, smart. Well, that's what they existed for, right? And so we yeah. said, look, let's let's verify what we're doing makes sense, and we made some changes, right? You know, so the original formulations didn't survive that process and the government right. fine. that's why it's been a year and a half to get that gummy in you um because it, it wasn't just quick let's make a gummy. Right. Um, it's like how do we make a product that is going to do the things we want it to do for the daily use consumer mm -hmm. because our goal is to drive wellness products to that daily use consumer um that wants it to taste good mm -hmm. you know and be cost effective on a per milligram basis. let me ask you a question so can like say I just took the terpenes without the CBD, would I feel an effect? Absolutely, it'd be gross. It'd be gross. Um, <laughs> you, would, you wouldn't enjoy it too much, um, gen generally. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, you feel an effect for sure. Uh, the think, reason why I'm asking because imagine if we went back to flow side and we could mix our own we'll make our own yeah <laughs> because you know it's not really the the terpenes aren't regulated because they're not gen right the ter right so we could play around with the different but terpenes. it might taste like us right <laughs> so go ahead oh I was just the first of all the aesthetic the packaging I love it I love the colors I love the way everything looks it looks like it's marketed to women, if that's a thing. I I know you talk about, you know, pre-workout, after workout, whatever, blah, blah, blah. but it just, not that women don't work out, I just don't. But anyhow, <laughs> I, um, I love the packaging. I love the color and I love the whole thing. And the name, Kinlock, can you tell mm -hmm. us about the name and where that came from? It must mean something. 100%, um, you know, that's uh, my family heritage. So Kinlock Farms, the farm my granddad started in Abbotsford uh, in the 1930s. Um, his family came from uh, PEI and their family came from Scotland. 
Mm-hmm. And if you trace it all the way back, uh, and I've actually been to the uh, the Kinlaw County uh, in Scotland and, and walked to the graveyard and, and, and read all these names. Like, my, that's not my grandma's name. My grandma's a Fraser. Um, you know, we went to Culloden and we saw where the Stuarts and the Frasers had fought side by side against the British and lost. Um, so it's there's a long history of um, you know, the behind the name. And the, the nice thing about the word Kinlock is that I can get the URL, I can get the Instagram, <laughs> you know, we, and it doesn't mean anything to the average person. So there's a white space in your brain uh, for the word Kinlock, and I can assign wellness to that name because that's ultimately, you know, what it is, family values. Um, one of the reasons it's THC free is that my mom's not going to take THC. And, that, and that's and that's OK, because there's a lot of people that don't mm-hmm. identify with the cannabis culture as it relates to THC, but are missing out on the benefit of this amazing plant. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, it, I, I'm removing the stigma uh, of not enjoying you know, cannabis, but still wanting cannabinoids mm-hmm. is a part of our mission. You know, like you can still enjoy cannabinoids and get the benefit, the real benefit, without having to worry about THC if that's your ethos. Uh, mm-hmm. And by all means, I'm not anti-THC, or nor do I think the products that contain THC are bad, right. not in the least. I just think there's another market segment that's not being served properly, and mm-hmm. that's what we're trying to do. I like it. I mean, so because the the other thing is, so what about the U.S.? Are you in the U.S. yet? I'm, I'm barely in Canada. I'm, I'm barely in Canada. Yeah. You know? The reason why but, I'm asking is because of the Farm Act there, the CBD is deregulated, so it's a little probably a lot easier there, more consumers, uh, you know, the advertising, um, seems like a easier path and, you know, you controlling flow size. So you're, you got your sor- source and your chemist there. Like, I don't know. It just se- seems like it's uh natural. Obviously we're hearing like rumors of maybe one day Canada will, will go that route one and day. open up more for the, the, the wellness aspect. But I love how, um, like is is that your what you're thinking like hey i'm gonna um kind of beta test it and then when they kind of lower their regulations and then um you know i'll be ready to go in that wellness category and just blow it out of the water uh, I, 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 I love the end of your paragraph <laughs> I want photo this one. Great. um a couple several answers to, to all of that um we're canadians mm-hmm. we will never have less regulation um, we'll have different regulation. Right. Um, so I don't I don't ever expect a Farm Act style regulation in Canada, which basically opens up the floodgates to do whatever. Right. Now, the FDA would say to me that, uh, well, hang on a minute. We haven't started regulating yet. Give us a minute. And I think if you look at the history of Epidiolex and the who owns, quote unquote, CBD in the United States at that level, you'll find that when Epidiolex um, expires uh, its original patent next year, they're going to be open 12 months more uh, of a white labeler, and then you'll see, see changes in regulation in the states in a way that will try to come a little closer to Health Canada, but in the American style. Mm-hmm. Um, in Canada, the reason why we're here is A, we're Canadian. Mm-hmm. B, all of my farmers are Canadian. Mm-hmm. C, um, I'm looking to pull Canadian uh, hemp and Canadian terpenes into Canadian products. Mm-hmm. And in Canada, what's for, as I started off by saying, um, CBD has never been sold on purpose. CBD has been sold by accident, and it's like our, our, our analogy that we, we've come to. What do you mean by is, that? Let me interrupt you. Yeah, what do you mean like it's yeah. been uh, uh, by accident? So so you're, so imagine that I, that, uh, I take you to a, a brewery, mm-hmm. and uh, you don't particularly like beer, but you're I on don't. a date, so we're, right? <laughs> so, so what happens at the brewery? You want a wine. So mm-hmm. they've got a glass of wine for you, but mm-hmm. they've got 12 different beers for me. That's right. THC. And somebody shows up and says, I want something different. What do you want? I want CBD. Oh, sure. Okay, no problem. Here you go. Right. It's people have walked in and said, I want CBD. Mm -hmm. Um, People have walked in. More commonly, I think I want CBD. Right. And then the bud tenders who've been spending all, they know all the beers. They know all the, oh, yeah, I got this. This is high terpenes. This is indica. They're like, yeah, but is that CBD? And the bud tenders who are amazing Mm -hmm. don't know how to deal with that question. Yeah. So what we did with 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 our effect wheel is we said, okay, great, let's give them a tool, to help them explain in 60 seconds mm-hmm. to an uneducated mm-hmm. consumer what minor cannabinoid combination they, they might want and what terpene combination goes with that. And so we've developed tools to give bud tenders a 60 second answer for that consumer that's walking and saying, do you have anything without THC? Do you have one of yeah. those wheels there? 
yeah, I, I don't have a I don't have a preprint uh, here. But what we've what we've what we've what we've done mm -hmm. uh, with our wheels, we've said, okay, what is the what is the mood state that right. the consumer is showing up with? Yeah. Um, and what are they where are they trying to get to? And then you can actually say, okay, well, if you're coming show, showing up with uh, you know, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling stressed or I, I'm trying to relax. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's, that's going to be our serene ones. I mean, high, high CBD and no THC. We're saying, look, I, I want more focus in the afternoons, uh, or I need some, I want to need more balance. I kind of want to be healthy. Um, what's a, what's something I can take that's a little bit lower dose. That, that's all of it. Mm -hmm. You know, or if I'm, if I'm irritated or, uh, I need to be replenished or I'm having aggravations in my joints. Um, that is going to be our refresh line with the CBG for sure. Or say, I just need something to help me rest, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and we can talk the consumer through all the mood states are on the wheel. Right. And we can ask the consumer to read it and say, which one of these states do you identify with? Mm -hmm. And they can quickly read it and say, I identify with this and this. Great. Those are our products that uh, meet that mood state that you identify with. Mm -hmm. um, and here's how, how these may affect you. We're, we have to be cautious because we're not trying to make medical claims, first and foremost. Mm. Health Canada won't let us. And the only reason I can even do this is because I can say to Health Canada, look, these these results, these mood states have been reported by strain print users mm -hmm. using this cannabinoid and terpene combination. We're just articulating the reporting. We're right. not we're not telling us going to cure your cancer. That's not true. Right. Right. That's not going to happen. Um, you know, we're not going to cure your anxiety. We're not mm. going to cure anything. You know, but... Some people have a side effect that is uh, they enjoy. So, mm -hmm. it, unfortunately, you have to dance around that language. That, that's just the, the reality of the Canadian marketplace. It's really smart that you've made um, material and when I guess along the journey before they they were released or maybe right when they were released to how to educate the bud tenders as well, like the point of sale for these. Mm -hmm. Like so so because you've started sort of a separate category. You're in mm -hmm. a different. I wouldn't consider you a candy. Um, a stoner necessarily isn't going into, well, then again, that's not true because I really, I, liked it. I really, yeah, I yeah. really enjoyed the mm -hmm. serene. Yeah. Really yeah. enjoyed that. And I am a stoner. Um, <laughs> so, but you've created this new sort of category in this new area where, like you said, you can lock can fill that empty void in our space. Mm -hmm. You have great marketing behind it. Is your background in marketing or something? Is there, cause like, no, you, my background is finding people that are much smarter than me. Well, somebody has really hit the mark on this. They really like the packaging is phenomenal. Your educational stuff behind it. They taste good. They don't taste like ass. Um, yeah. Price points roughly. And how are they packaged? Are they twos, fours, six? How does it come? Um, so price points, everything's under 20 bucks. Um, uh, so more, uh, under 15 for the, uh, the Elevate. Um, they mm -hmm. are, you know, that, that's the, they're four and five uh, pieces uh, per package and 120 to 200 milligrams of active per package, uh, depending on the, the combination um, of, of cannabinoids. Um, you know, the CBZ is 120 milligrams uh, per package, uh, 30 per uh, gummy, uh, four, four in a pack. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the Refresh is 40, 160 milligrams per package. Uh, Elevate's got five at, at 100, and then uh, Serene's got four at 200. Are you in the medical space at all, too? Just... Medical is the one place where you can get all of our stuff. The challenge with uh, with okay. getting uh, cannabis uh, into the retail marketplace, you have to go through the pinhole choke point of individual people that are responsible for uh, the category management in each province. Mm -hmm. So convincing them that we're a real company that can actually do what we say um, and deliver a product that consumers are going to enjoy uh, mm -hmm. has been very challenging. So in, in Ontario, we're only launching two SKUs of 17 uh, because that's the nature of the beast yeah. uh, we have three more coming out in january and i think by spring we'll have perhaps as many as 10. um let's, we'll see how it goes um bc we have uh, two SKUs dropping both in the capsule category none of the gummies um alberta we're not in yet like it's going to take a minute to get into alberta uh, saskatchewan is looking better i think we'll have more in saskatchewan coming up soon same with manitoba and ironically the yukon and newfoundland um, but medical, uh, our partners at Sensi Medical uh, have taken on the entire line. And yeah. if you go to our website, um, hit where to buy, uh, go to the medical section, you'll get through to Sensi's website. Mm -hmm. And we're working with other medical providers as well, uh, which none of which I can announce yet. But Sensi, uh, we're happy to, to point people out right now. And that's where the entire line of products that are available. And of the 17 SKUs, 12 are available now, mm -hmm. five more in January. Do you know Mendo? Oh, we know Mendo, yes. They're on our. Uh, Hey, how you doing, list? They're on. Oh. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, well, I think Jay should uh, take these on. So, 
and uh, because I think that their users would definitely enjoy these. We're, we're excited. About, I'm really excited about the veteran marketplace. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really want to get this in front of veterans. Uh, that's mm -hmm. not been done yet, but I think the veterans are really going to enjoy this. And also, uh, you know, daily workers, people that uh, people that, that work hard all day long and have aches and pains and, and sores, but don't want to have to can't shouldn't have you know THC at work. You want somebody taking. Right. 50 milligrams of THC at noon and didn't go driving a bus. Right. Um, so th this this will allow you to enjoy the benefits of cannabinoids and terpenes at work legally, correctly, and and you know not put anyone at risk, but help yourself feel better. Absolutely. I, I like this conversation because it's here. You're ending the stigma. It's another conversation starter, like your grandma, like you said, you, you know, your mom won't use it if it's THC and explaining all of this and teaching what the difference between CBD and THC and that you can still enjoy the plant and get the health benefits from cannabis and, and that it doesn't have to be this big night. This, I think it's a great conversation starter. That's for what sure. What about topicals? Coming up next. Um, my wife came in here today and she was like, you need to put this experimental salve on my shoulder again because it's amazing. I'm like, now you're using up the entire supply of the experimental salve. So, <laughs> yeah. That's a good thing, though. Because, that means it's working. Yeah, because um, <laughs> that's the gateway. Like, the salve, like, people who have a stigma with cannabis, they'll, you know, Lotions the older people, potions. they'll take the, the salve, like, oh, their knees hurt or whatever. They'll try that first, and then after that, they'll say... Okay, well, maybe we, let's try the gummy. That's it, right. Yeah. So I think that that for you is going to be uh, really big. Then the, you have an experimental self. And you want to know what the funny thing is? So when we left so Flow Sci, they gave us a whole bunch of like testers of different terpenes, yeah. and we actually made our own cream with it. Yeah, remember? <laughs> right, we made yeah. those little creams. Yeah. 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 And you know what's amazing, of course, when you take the right terpenes, especially, and, and uh, we know the ones that are the most effective. Um, we take the right terpene and you apply it to a topical, which you, you, you increase the absorption. Mm. And the way that absorption is impacted is you get a tingling. Right. And so what's what's fun about all of our topicals that are still in R&D um, is that they you feel that effect right away. And you're like, what's going on? Like, yeah. I, and you can tell where you put it, where you didn't put it. Because, you know, that, that tingling is. Yeah. Is, and that that's the gateway. Yeah. That's the you gateway to convert about, people. Yeah. I've got a, I've got a. Uh, uh, your, your your favorite uh, vapor rub uh, version. Oh, uh, nice! And 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 your favorite uh, a something something five uh, oh. version uh, we're working on. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, that's cool. So you sort of have because you've mentioned sports and stuff. So you just got a lot of stuff for athletes and yeah. sport, like definitely. One hundred percent. My partner Tyler Moser is a two time Paralympian. Mm. Um, you know, he lives with a spinal cord injury, and uh, CBD is a huge part of his journey from you know, wheelchair to podium. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's, he's a big, big uh, a source of why our products are focused on uh, non-THC, CBD, and, and, and yeah, topicals and, and edibles, you know, that are effective are a big part of that program for that reason. Wow, that's, so can you tell us, Willie, you're telling us stories about the name and how there's got to be like a challenging story, something that like stands out in your mind during this during this climb to Kinlock's release. What was, was there something you can share <laughs> as you're laughing? Uh, the, the uh, well, there, there's, there's this is for, if for any reason you happen to think this is all fun and games and it's been a joy um then you'd be completely wrong mm -hmm. it's it is it is a massive challenge to overcome the the complexities of an industry designed by bureaucrats to prevent people from consuming nicotine that's that's what the foundation of bill c45 is is prevention of damage, you know, mostly based on the nicotine model. Well, that does not translate smoothly to health and wellness. And while the, the the changes to the CBD regulations are being considered right now, and we're submitting, you know, in this this period that we're opening right now to, to Health Canada, is that we consider how they're going to bring CBD to market. Um, you know, we're excited about that opportunity. But in the meantime, it's incredibly complex. It's not easy. Uh, it's expensive, and um, the Fed's just raised the interest rate. So access to capital is incredibly hard. Uh, the people in front of us, um, the people who have been in this industry for years doing this work, you know, they did a lot of work to build the super highway. They, they showed up in 2018 you know, with a lot of money, some picks and shovels, and a paver, and they started building the super highway along, figuring it out as they went, making mistakes, correcting, losing a lot of money. Building stuff that you know, building building off ramps to places that didn't exist and were silly to do, but this superhighway does land at the consumer right now, 
And uh, consumers can go to thousands of stores across the country and get very high quality products, you know, with cannabinoids in them. We're able to start at the beginning of that superhighway and take advantage of all that work. We're able to, you know, access the, the retailers, the, the, um, the tools behind the scenes that, that teach the bud tenders, you know, what they need to know. All that stuff now exists. We can take advantage of that, um, but it's still not smooth and it's not designed for the wellness consumer. Mm. Um, we hope to see these products in pharmacy and in a perfect world, 7-Eleven. Um, mm. But, I, you know, I think that pharmacies are the more likely uh, destination for non-THC products uh, in the coming years. Oh, I could see Kinlock at Shoppers Drug Mart. Mm-hmm. Can, like, yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? And that's where seniors, seniors trust their pharmacy. Yes. And that's so, what they try to, but that's the medical by Shoppers Drug Mart, right? Right. So then they could carry all of your SKUs, or are you saying something different? They could now, but I, I think what, what Jackie was pointing out was that, um, you know, the, on the shelf at Shoppers is where, or even behind the counter at the pharmacy, oh. that's where, that's where you're going to access more consumers. Because the process to become a medical client you know, isn't instant. You know, it's 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 mm-hmm. intentional. Fill up the forms, wait for your phone call. Pretty quick on Mendo. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. But it but it, it still takes some process, mm-hmm. and it has to be very intentional. It is certainly not. Hey, I'm here for some Tylenol. Um, right. Have you got some T3s? Mm-hmm. And the pharmacist might say, Well, what are you trying to get done? And you say, Well, have you considered you know the, the Kinlock uh, refresh line? Mm-hmm. Um, this is what this is, and and you, you might try this alongside your Tylenol. See what you think. Um, that is where we'd like to see it. Yeah, um, but isn't that what we said? Like, so we're coming full circle now. But you said that will never happen. No, what I said is that it will never be deregulated to the point at which um, it will CBD will not be produced by a licensed producer. That will never happen in Canada. It will always be in the licensed producer category. It will probably never end up uh, in front of the counter at a 7-Eleven. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll probably always have medical practitioner oversight and a pharmacist will be a medical practitioner. So I think you will see it behind the counter in a pharmacy mm-hmm. um, so that you can access it without a, without a prescription. Like that, I think, will happen. Is there um, drugs like so, that now? Say again, say again? Is there drugs like that now that are behind 100%. the... Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah so go, go, to the, go to the pharmacist and say, I want a T1. I want, a, T1. I okay. want, a, I want a, a codeine plus Tylenol combination you can't pull it off the shelf he can sell it to you without a prescription okay but that's behind the counter well, same thing with some of the more powerful antihistamines right um and now i'm out of my depth of knowledge so right. there are <laughs> yeah i just wanted to know if there was precedent for another product to be like that yeah 100 yeah, okay. i just think that's pretty that's amazing awesome. that one day my grandma or my my mom at this point yeah. will be able to go into shoppers drug mart and purchase cbs Purchase yeah. CBD, purchase cannabis, Tech, like let's just call it that, right. purchase cannabis. Right. Exactly. And, and, and mm-hmm. that's the big part of the stigma, removing the stigma is we have to, it's the consumer education that cannabis is, is also CBD and right. it certainly is THC. Um, and and which, which form of cannabis are you, are you interested in? That THC format is going to be in dispensaries. That's mm-hmm. the plan. That's not going to change. That, that's appropriate. Right. Um, but getting grandma to come into the dispensary, you know, when she's around all these other, it's challenging, right? I just saw mm-hmm. the face of you. Yeah. Like that's, My that's grandma's not challenge. going to the dispensary, yeah, but, but she will go to Shoppers Drug Mart. Yeah, but couldn't Shoppers Drug Mart now just get a retail license and then only choose to stock CBD products? Uh, probably, but they haven't. <laughs> they would be, that would be really good though. So that's a workaround yeah. for them to do right now. Yeah. Until, you know, it catches up. Yeah, I think it, what's what's funny about it is that you know that pharmacist, the same pharmacist today, stocks you know heroin, uh, you know like products, you know cocaine like products, mm-hmm. you know uh, fentanyl, like, you know, oxycotton, oxycotton, exactly, all in a secure way behind his countertop. All you have to do, if you're health can, my probably uneducated opinion, but it seems simple enough to me, is change the categorization of non THC products into whatever category. Those are, I think, as a class two drug. I'm, 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 I'm not sophisticated enough to know that, but you know, change the category into, into that category, and you're done. You, mm-hmm. you, should, I, you should, the pharmacist should not have to go get a cannabis license. Mm-hmm. He's already dealing with, with drugs that are significantly worse. Way, right, worse. way worse. Right? So I, it's a categorization challenge. Um, but the problem is this: the way Bill C45 was set up is it said, let's protect our citizens, we give them access, mm-hmm. but let's protect them from the evils of, of cannabis. And they didn't even think about CBD or non 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 THC cannabinoids 
they're starting to do that four years in. And today, today they announced their 18 month review. Yeah, I see that. Uh, uh, they've been working on for long. It's legislated by by uh, Bill C45. So that review is now underway for the next year and a half. Um, why it can't take 90 days, I, I don't know. But um, <laughs> it's going to be, you know, that was announced this morning uh, that they're actually embarking on that. So that, that's positive forward motion. One thing about Canada is we'll get there just slowly. Where will Kinlock be in six months? Uh, we will be uh, in, in five or six major markets. Uh, if I'm lucky, uh, all of the six major markets uh, will be at medical uh, wholesalers uh, across the country. And um, we hope to have as many as our, of our uh, SKUs in retail stores, uh, in, in dispensaries um, as possible. Since you have a different, Kinlock has a different story and they are, a, to me, it's, it's a wellness brand, mm-hmm. like it's a, a for real wellness brand. I say yeah. for real, <laughs> I'm sure people are gonna be like, so how do you, how, do you have, not a loyalty program, but do you have, if someone wants to contact you or your team, do you have like an education, do you have blogs? Like what does Kinlock, do you have that set up since you are different? Like you, and like you said, you have CBG and N and whatever, but they're actually in real quantities like you're. So yeah, and people, to learn about their terpene. Learn, yeah, and all the different terpene profiles and such and why, and the and like your first, you know, the flavor onset and then the after, this the way the whole thing. Do you have a blog? Do you have a place people can go to learn more about you? I love that you asked that question. What a great idea. <laughs> um, uh, go to our website, go to our knowledge center. Knowledge and you'll center. find the first dozen of about three dozen <clears throat> articles that we're producing that answer all of those questions. And so one of the first articles you can find, you can find what is CBN, what is CBG, what is CBD, what are terpenes. Mm. Um, you know, and we're going to get down to the, the, the nitty gritty of what's mercy. Where does it come from? Why do you care? How is it used? How do we use it? Why do we use it? Where do we use it? And uh, should you use it? Um, so all those questions where we are in the process of getting documented on the website. Mm-hmm. I know the answers to all those things. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it is an exercise now in getting it out of our research and development and putting it into uh, the website. But the Knowledge Center on our website is very much where we're setting up all of those answers. How do we, what's the website? Kinlockwellness.com. Kinlockwellness.com. And yeah, then, L-O-C-H. And Instagram, Twitter, you got it all? At, at Kinlock Wellness. And that's where we can find more about this. Why do you tell our viewers a terpene that's not really talked about so much, but have that you found to have some cool some, properties? Yeah, some cool properties. Terpineol. Uh, terpineol uh, <laughs> it com- is, comes from uh, citrus sources, mm-hmm. and uh, like it is a brain activator. Uh, mm-hmm. It is one of the uh, terpenes that will light your brain up. Um, and it is <laughs> one of the things that we like to use in our, our, our Elevate and our Refresh lines. Okay. And um, no one's ever heard of it uh, because it's a weird name. Yeah. Um, but yeah, terpineol. Maybe terpineol. that's why we both really like the Elevate. Yeah. Because it had yeah. terpineol. Yeah, and Refresh uh, carries quite a bit of it uh, in the Refresh line. So hmm. Refresh, Elevate, Serene, and the fourth one? CBZ. CBZ. CBZ, right. I thought that was a cute packaging. I thought that was a good name. That's. How can how could I forget CBC? Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> uh, I, I gotta tell you, we, we're working on um, what is what is our what is our swag gonna be like? What, what are we gonna are we gonna do T-shirts and hats and surfboards and we're like ah, none of that really works. What about a sleep us. mask? <sighs> Did I steal you? <laughs> you stole my idea. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally, that's literally where I was going to leave it in. Did not cut it out. That's, um, that's a good so one. Was, so our first swag item is a sleep mask. Um, it's a cannabis accessory. Mm. Well, y- yeah, I, I, t- I take a sleep mask when I travel. Sorry to burst your bubble. There. <laughs> no, what you just said is. Well, now my- I'm going to need one. I, I just proved your marketing whole theory works and it's it goes hand in hand that's why i keep saying you must be a marketing genius or something somebody's th- behind all this because that's incredible for cbz yeah a sleep mask mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a cannabis accessory yeah. you, don't need, you don't need a bong you just need a sleep mask yeah mm-hmm. that's really cool that's really i will cool. say that 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 uh that that idea um became really obvious uh after the hall of flowers um at the third party of the night <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he needed a, uh, some CBZ and a sleep mask the next day. Cause did you fly out the next day after your after the party? Uh, no, I stayed. I stayed an extra day, and I'm super glad I did because we had a chance to go to five different uh, retailers. Uh, and with, with a tour, a group of us went on mm. and saw different retailers. Uh, the Vitrina group who set up the Hall of Flowers, uh, Krista Raymer and her team uh, took us uh, to these different retail stores. And it was great to talk to the bud tenders and see the different approaches to cannabis retail in Toronto, uh, which was incredibly sophisticated and sexy and fun, and then corporate, and then last day of business closing tomorrow, and then, uh, you know, super uh super uh, uh value orientated and and mm -hmm. uh, um you know uh, felt like um what's the what's the um like like giant, giant brands like giant it. tiger or byway or zellers or many or... many names it was but it was it was, it was super interesting to see the the breadth and then the mom and pops and the the, the, the smaller ones the community the, the group that i'm really excited about um is that community um, dispensary where you know we were all standing there and this gentleman came in and he's like oh what are all these people and he goes and the, the owner said hey john said, hey what's going on they were friendly they knew each other he was a regular he was there for whatever he normally comes for um but i have a feeling that uh she knows everybody that comes in that door and because it's the community dispensary and people trust her and, and she's got the things that they want and they prefer for that specific demographic we know that our products will not be well received in every single store. There are stores that sell 95% pre-rolls and flour and our customers not show up. That's right. right. Um, but there are stores that, that will sell a, a much greater volume of products in the wellness space once they have access to products that- What about Mrs. Jones? Sorry? Mrs. Jones. Are you in Mrs. Ms. Jones stores? Yeah, those are well, things. We're not anywhere yet, but we're working on- the Oh, area. right, you're not in anywhere yet. It's coming up next. It's coming. Uh, OCS drops uh, late October, so that, that's when we'll we'll be in the OCS. That's stores. weeks away. That's just weeks. That's so I, soon. You're, you're, it's coming up next. I totally agree. Um, but the 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 ability to access that daily wellness consumer is what we're looking for, and we think that the people that are buying THC for themselves might be looking for a gift for Christmas from their mom or their aunt. You know, this is that great way to introduce uh, your your friends and your family to. You know, cannabinoids that isn't necessarily through, the, necessarily through the path of THC. Yeah, you don't have to like you know you don't have to be everything to everybody because I'll yeah. tell you I took the your uh, gummy and then I smoked a joint and yeah. I got the so it's like it's yeah. interchangeable. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you were just touching on the CBD. How I started my entire four and a half five years ago, like the real wellness journey and the switching to everything, was my father-in-law brought me CBD capsules, mm. and right. from he he had brought them in from Arizona, and right. came to visit, and that's how I started the whole. So CBD started the conversation and started, and like Derek said, the gateway. It really is. Yeah. So the the, the, the lotions and the potions yeah. is exactly how I started this whole thing. So I mean. I, I think you I think you're on to something. I think you're in a separate category yeah, like that you're that. not comparable. Like uh, it would be an, a, a nice gift. First of all, really to get four of them and the, the colors, like the way they're, it's a really, I think it's a great Mother's mm, Day gift. It's a great Like Christmas a package. Present. Yeah. Mm. Oh, can you, ooh, maybe during the holidays they could package for, are you allowed to do holiday? I don't freaking know. I don't think you're allowed, but that would be yeah. really nice. Some sort of little set. So mm. you have the whole, for your day. Right. Your kid yeah, we're, trying, we're trying to do a, um, you know, the you know, fun dip. Yeah. So, try, we're trying to do a fun dip package, but my packaging guys are screaming at me because it's a nightmare to be compliant. Uh, oh <laughs> yeah. That's damn compliance. Players. Cause you we'll, can do a lot with it. Yeah. We'll do large formats, uh, coming up, uh, in, in the spring and the summer. Um, so we're, we'll do our thirties and, and, you know, so, we, so that, that daily user can go in and just buy once a month, you know, um, either from, from a medical dispensary or, or you know, they're online. Oh, that's a good idea. So you can get your 30 or your whatever, mm -hmm. but you've got your months worth. Then you can put it in your dose set. Uh, he makes fun. <laughs> he always makes fun of me because I'm getting old and I got a dose set. <laughs> Anyhow, Dwayne, no. it was really, what are you opening? What are you doing? What do you got? So this is our, our, our in-market oh. compliant packaging. Okay. And um, uh, please ignore the yellow warnings, which are all about THC. 
Uh, uh, they don't have a, there's no THC red logo on them, yeah. uh, as you can see, because there's no THC in these gummies. Um, so while I don't need to do the, I, this is what I want to put in market, right. um, but I'm not allowed. So uh, what that's, you get is this instead. That's um, terrible. Uh, it's, the, it's the reality of the regulated market. That sucks. But, what, but what's good is you do get, you know, the total cannabinoids um, you know, on, on the packaging. So you know, this one's 160, you know, in this package. And oh. that's more cannabinoids than you're going to see uh, yeah. in most products in Canada in a single, in a single package. Absolutely. Can you hold up the other package again, the one you're not allowed to? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, so, the, so, the, so the, the beauty package, and this is what you guys got. You got the mm -hmm. beauty package. Yeah. So you had only two in a sample. Mm -hmm. uh, the beauty packaging is great. Um, really you know, nice. QR codes, you know, on the back and the, you know, you know, the no THC symbol, mm -hmm. uh, you know, because you know, it isn't. Um, yeah, we're, we're really happy with this. Uh, uh, shout out to uh, Nico at Storm the North. Uh, mm -hmm. Nico did all of our branding, uh, worked with me Good and job, others Nico. to come up with it. So if you like the branding and everything, uh, Nico at Storm the North. Oh, yeah. well, at Nico. At, I'm glad you shouted him out because I love the branding. I think it's great. It's really good. Yeah, he's done a great job for us. And uh, I, yeah, just love should the be, You should be good. excited. We're excited for this to, to take off. You should be excited. I think it's really great. And, yeah. and Derek's a big like hash guy. And we were talking about them and he's like, I really liked it. It tasted great. It, I felt something. I, yeah. you know, I, like, I thought it was great. So like when we talk about things off camera, you had good reviews. <laughs> we, we did have uh, somebody uh, in a call this week use the words that people were ranting and raving and, and nothing makes me happier than to hear, you know, positive language like that. We worked for a year and a half to make sure that these uh, tasted great, didn't have bitterness, had the right texture and the right dosage um, and the right terpene combination so that it tasted what good and, and get that effect. So a lot of R&D has gone into these um, little candies. Oh, awesome. well, well, thanks for joining us, Dwayne from Kinlock. That was fun. Thanks yeah, for having me. Shout out one more time where people can find you. www.kinlockwellness.com and at Kinlock Wellness on all the socials. Awesome. Great. Nice chatting with you. Thanks for being on The Green Room. Thank you. Peace. Thanks. We're always fresh and a little bit sticky. The green room on cannabis wiki.